Welcome back to Seat Time, guys. I'm Woody, and today we're gonna talk about, well, that. Today, we're gonna talk about these Tarot electric dirt bikes. Are you guys ready to get riding? All right, we'll get to it. These blue beasts of electric fury are newly being brought to the market. They have two sizes, but a few different layouts. We picked up the Motocross 1 and the Motocross 2 from Adventure Moto here in McKinney. The MX-1 is comparable to a 50cc minibike, while the MX-2 is comparable to a 65cc minibike. The MX-2 is a bit smaller when put wheel to wheel to a 65 though. When it came to Liam and Nora and their ability to ride the Tarots, they were fully charged with enthusiasm. Liam has been riding the majority of his life, so his learning curve was minimal. I will admit though, he's ready for an aftermarket rear shock that can withstand his continuous beatings. Nora was timid at first, making sure I had the bike set to 50% power. I think this is going to be tricky and I don't really know. Um, I don't really feel safe on this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it and try it out. Once she got comfortable and got a few laps under her belt, she was quickly looking for more speed. What did you just ask? Can you make it a little faster? Yes, I can, Nora. Let's go make it faster. <laughs> to the van. Nora has always been a timid rider. She's been on a Stasic for a year and a half now, and even then, she's never held it wide open. The Stasic was the perfect way to transition her from a bicycle to a true dirt bike. I tried for a long time to get her to ride Liam's old PW50, but she always told me it scared her. This is why I'm so excited about kids' electric dirt bikes and bikes like a Stasic. Due to the lack of noise, kids are less intimidated to give them a try. So when Nora started riding the Tarot and she wanted to ride it at 100% power, I jumped at the chance to see how much it would blow her wig back. I said she wanted to go faster, so we found, it's in the manual, there's a little spot back here where the button is. So we're gonna go to the 100%. You just flip that button over, you put this guy back down, and now she can try it at 100%. So we're gonna see how that goes for her. If this is too much, we'll go back to 50%. Turn, your keys turned? Yep. Okay, hit your power button. Now remember, you're at full throttle and you're in control with the throttle though, okay? Yep. Gotta catch me doing a wheelie on camera, Dad. You almost hit that tree there, buddy. I know. All right, you ready to hit the woods? The switch the Tarot comes with is a great way for a parent to quickly adjust the power output for their young rider. The problem is that 50% to 100% can be a large gap for some to jump over. This is where the app can come into play. The Tarot Kids app Bluetooth connects to your bike so you can have a bit more personal control over the power and whether your young rider can even start their machine. The bikes come with a key card that has the necessary information to pair your device with the bike. Nora and I played around with the power settings to see if she liked a specific tuning better than the others. After a few back and forth testing sessions, she opted for full power. I think this goes to show how comfortable she felt on the MX-1 from the very beginning. Her ability to feel so comfortable on the Tarots so quickly surprised me. This got me thinking about the other new to riding kiddos and how easy these bikes will be to transition them to dirt bike riders. The Electric Kids dirt bike market is very much still in its infancy. KTM has recently released their SX E5, even switching their Junior Supercross Challenge over to the electric bikes back in 2021. While we were riding and working on this video, Honda released their CRF E2 with the help from Greenger Power Sports. Both the KTM and Honda compete in the 50cc size bike category with the MX-1. There aren't many bigger wheeled electric dirt bikes just yet to compete with the MX-2, but rest assured, they are coming. I know you're wondering, have we had any issues with the Tarots and have we changed or upgraded anything on them? We did have a controller issue after some app testing. When you are adjusting the power while connecting to the app, the messaging is quite clear to not be riding the bikes. We did our due diligence to keep the bikes on, but not twist the throttle. The issue that we ran into was during the parental control on-off testing. Nowhere did it say to not use this feature while the bike was in use. 
I thought this parental control would be a great feature when young Junior isn't listening and you kill the power to the bike. Not if they're jumping, just FYI. Well, we think that this fried the controller, which shouldn't have happened. They warranted it, I swapped it out easily, and we're back in action. As far as upgrades or adjustments, we've done very little. I'm not about to put bib mooses in these little tires, so I took the time to add slime to the tubes. No big deal there. I also moved the rear brake out and away from the grip for better placement of lever position for my young riders. If I were to get nitpicky, I do wish the rear shock was a bit more robust. I know this price point is set for entry level riders, but currently there is no tuning except for the ability to add some preload by tightening the spring. A few clickers on the forks would also be nice to see. We haven't had any issues with the chain, but it's a point that I'll be keeping an eye on. It's not on par with traditional mini bike chains, but maybe this bike isn't meant to be put in those typical conditions. We'll certainly find out as Liam is rough on everything. I don't know that I'd go so far as to say that the future is here, but what these little bikes can do is impressing me more and more every day. Since they make no noise and the kids are enjoying riding them so much, we've started riding them to the park, tearing up the neighborhood. We get a ton of interesting looks, but me being me, I'm totally fine with it. Tarot is starting with the younger riders. Company like Stark Future and what used to be Ulta are starting with the bigger, fully grown kids. I'm excited to see how this electric dirt bike market grows and how this technology influences the tried and true acoustic dirt bikes. I'm even more excited for the new parents and riders it will introduce to this great sport and activity. If you've got young kiddos that are outgrowing their Stasics, the Tarots are the perfect next step in their dirt bike journey. If you are a new parent who's looking for a new technology to get their kids involved in, this electric dirt bike market is going to blow up and it's going to be a great place for you to get involved. But I want to know what you think about electric motorcycles. Leave your opinion in the comments. Me, I'm excited for the Stark Varg and I think I may have to go reserve uh, one. Uh, what? Is it time to go ride? Yeah. All right, everybody enjoy getting some seat time. Let's get out there, guys. Yeah. Okay, dude. There's this red thing right here, I think you guys are looking at. Um, and it can, if you pull it. Okay, see that green? That green? Look at that red thing. Pull, no more green. Oh! Doo -doo. Oh, look, it worked. Oh, man. That did not end well. Oh, now you guys got to see that in action. <laughs>